Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so what's going on? I see I need a, it's a eight, quarter after eight, the 28th of May already. So, in Byron Center, Michigan, where I'm at now, it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit for you Canadians, eh? Eh? Uh, right now it's 69. It's going to be at 9 o'clock. I missed John at dawn today. I'll have to see if he's even posted anything. I hope he did. Anyway, so, Jude, Jude. Jude in the afternoon, I think that's his name. I used to know a Judy Stanky. Hey, Sean, did, did you recognize that name, Judy Stanky? I don't know if it's spelled the same way as you. But she lived in uh, uh, Wingate Apartments for a while, was a good friend of one of my sister-in-laws. Anyway, um, 71 degrees at 9, 73, and at 11 o'clock, 73 and thunder showers. No, 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 no. So today is Thursday, I believe. Yeah, Thursday. Um, Friday, it's going to be raining. So it doesn't look like I'd be painting outside. I really wanted to paint. I think I did get the results of the Coggins test, a blood draw um, today. I saw it on the counter. So hopefully Kathy and I can bring them horses away. Got to get a hold of Janice Ramirez. Next week, it's going to start uh, raining on Tuesday. Oh, boy. Quit complaining, Dirk. I guess I could paint inside here, spray paint inside of here, just kind of block stuff off with plastic or tarps and just spray it and then probably get two of the rails into here. Anyway, uh, yesterday we had uh, the pool started. Let's take a look at it. I don't think it's on right now, but the whole family was swimming, except for me. I'm not a real fan of the pool at this point. I know I need a gimbal, because yesterday, or day before, I, I didn't do any videos yesterday. Um, we noticed that uh, I was wobbling all over the place. And I think a gimbal would really help. Probably make it a little bit heavier for me to hold this thing. See that? It's quite a ways away. So, anyway, check it out. The pool's clean-ish. I did sweep it out, sweep all the stuff out of the low, shallow area into the deep, and then uh, towards that drain right there. So, let's see if this bad boy, Shidel came over and worked on this thing. Let's see if this bad boy will fire up. Will it? I don't know. I haven't tried it today. So the way I fire it up, I gotta put a safer plate, safer thing over here. Yep, the motor's running. I don't see any water in the filter area yet. Let's see. This catches the leaves right here. So what's happening right now, oh, I can see the water starting to come in. Can you see it? It's got a... Uh, gross filter in here for leaves and twigs and bugs, big bugs, and then, uh, there it goes. And then it catches the smaller stuff in here, and this is a, um, a diatomaceous earth filter, fiberglass diatomaceous earth filter. Um, got both valves on. How you can tell a, uh, a ball valve is open or closed is if these handles are pointing the direction of the pipe then it's open. Actually I would consider this wrong because it really should be pointing the direction of flow and the flow is this way and this one seems to be pointing this way. This is for the bottom filt um, bottom opening, whatever I call it, grate. This is for the uh, skimmer, surface skimmer. That's this right here. Um, <clears throat> So well, how the skimmer work, it's, works, it's got a surface skimmer, it's got a uh, port right here which pushes the material on the surface this way and once it gets in this side, it's got a port over here which pushes it toward the 
skimmer hole. And it's got a flapper valve inside the skimmer hole. Ta da! I know it's not easy to see, but uh, it's in there. Trust me, believe me. And as you can see, you can see accumulation of dust and dirt on the bottom. I'll sweep some of that stuff into there. Typically, Tony likes to mess with this thing in the morning. He's in the woods right now with a ton of bug spray. See one of the horses on the edge of the pond there, puddle. It's slowly draining, but again, we're going to get more rain and rain and uh, thunder showers. So yeah, all this stuff has to be swept toward that opening right there. Looks like it's partially plugged, but uh, we'll get that. May 28, we actually got blooms, guys. I don't know what kind of flowers. Well, I do know what kind of flowers these are. These are uh, dark pink flowers. That's the type they are. Dark pink with yellow things in the inside. <coughs> oh, I see Kathy uh, started stringing the grape vines. They're doing really, really good. I'm really surprised and happy. But you got, you can see the strings attaching to the upright posts. Drawing the grapes up there. The strawberries are killing it. Doing really good. But it's, I got to get, figure out a way to uh, check the pH level and the, and what type of, what type of uh, fertilizers I need. There's a guy by the name of, forget his first name already, Cyric. Names is very familiar, but uh, have I ever met the guy? I don't know. Steve Sanger turned me onto his name, so hopefully we'll get together and be able to chat. Because uh, I intend on having some kind of uh, raised gardening. I don't know where. I've always thought over here, in this area over here, the south side of the property, but I don't know. Nicely raised, maybe by three feet. So we'll see what happens. But these plants are really taking off. I'm pretty happy. Happy Pappy. I think here Kathy's growing some uh, <clears throat> weeds. I see there she's successful in that because it's got seedlings coming. I think that's what that is, some type of weeds, two, two pots of weeds. She's particular about uh, stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. A lot of solar lighting everywhere. Free energy, I guess, but you got to buy it. I don't know what this stuff is. It looks like a cactus of some kind, but it comes back every day, every year. Just seen a crow, there's a couple crows up in there, way up in where, here, or here. You can hear them. <clears throat> They're very smart animals. A couple of quackers. But what they'll do is they, they harass the, the local yokels and uh, see where they nest. Once they find their nests, they see the condition of the eggs and they'll know right away when they'll hatch and they'll gobble them up like pieces of shrimps. I'll show you something that's really cool. Something else that's really cool. This stuff right here, I believe, this is dill. I know we get dill out here amongst the stones. And uh, <clears throat> fresh dill. Killer with fish. Kathy's got a some kind of a um, recipe that uh, calls for dill and lemon. And it's just unbelievably delicious. And I'm thinking, look at that. Uh, I'm thinking we can uh, actually dry that stuff and store it, I believe. Needs to put flowers in there. Got a couple other flower hanging baskets. Got to put flowers in. This here we got from the Cokes again. It's like a cascading um, something. <clears throat> I, don't know if, uh, I don't know if they get flowers, but they're really cool. They kind of accent the, let's say if you had flowers in there, it looks really cool. Uh, this here. The Shidel guy was able to open up and I was, we're able to put the uh, chlorine tablets in there now. 
is where it comes in, the chlorine tablets comes in. They are a little bit behind on the planting the pots, but we'll get that. So <clears throat> there's going to be a really nice box over here where everything gets stored. It'll kind of block the view of this ugly thing here. Plan on getting rid of this heater here. Disconnecting it, disconnecting it by the union here. Open that off, plug it, and then cover this whole thing with something. <clears throat> well, it'll be hidden by the uh, by the storage box. Right now, I got it pigtailed off. Yeah, looking good. It's running well. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do. <clears throat> Stir it up a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like to <clears throat> excuse me. Sweep this thing. You got this big old thing on a stick. Uh, it's so far down, guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Little ants all over them, over this handle. So what you do is you just gently. Sweep it towards this. I don't know if you can see it, but towards this little deep end. Try not to fall in. What I noticed on YouTube is when you <clears throat> post a video, the first few minutes or hours or whatever, it's very, it's not real clear, very foggy, and uh, it takes a while, maybe after a few hours, <clears throat> it clears up and uh, looks very, very good. Very good. But I like YouTube because I can post them on there and post them on YouTube and then later on I can use them, use links to access, access the videos, you know, on Facebook. It's pretty cool. It's working out pretty good. <clears throat> so I got tons of videos on my external hard drive that I want to put on YouTube. But I got to learn how to label them. Jen Van, Van der Steeg? Van der Steeg. She's going to show me how to how to categorize my my YouTube uh, channel videos. <clears throat> like one should be horses, another one should be swimming pool. Another one should be Indian motorcycles or motorcycles in general. Other one, cars in general. Um, what else is there? Pigeons, pigeons for sure. <laughs> I got to get my pigeons going. I know you guys are bored seeing this, but uh, just just watch. It's good for you. Very good for you. It's cathartic. I guess that's the word to use. Cathartic. If you're into this kind of stuff, I guess. I never wanted a pool. This was Kathy's idea, but uh, I think it's a really good, good idea because the grandkids are swimming in there, and the and the daughters, the boys, occasionally will swim, <clears throat> but the grandkids, Kathy and the daughters, will come here and swim a lot. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> We're getting our use out of this thing. I never, like I said, I never wanted a pool, but I think it was a good call. We put it in about uh, 20 years ago. <clears throat> a company called Scheidel in Grant area. They put it in for me. Where did I get the name from? I got the name from Tom Shreve. Remember Tom Shreve? Hey, you guys still there? You guys still watching? Don't you have anything better to do? 
watch YouTube videos. Anyway, Tom Shreve had his done, <clears throat> and the guys did such a wonderful job that uh, this is his old house, not, his, not where he's living now. But we love the pool. The size, the same size as this. I forget what size it is. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if Best Buy is open. You guys know? The reason why I'm asking is because I want to buy a gimbal. I'm watching these guys on YouTube and uh, their cameras are held very, very still. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure they're using a gimbal. So a gimbal will act against the, the natural movement of my hands and, and keep the, maintain the camera in a uh, stable position the whole time. See how nice and clean this looks? Operative word is looks because what I, a lot of this stuff is floating. And a lot of stuff is moving towards the deep end. What's that racket? I hear a weird racket and from the, coming from the woods. <clears throat> that was a weird sound. It's almost like a... Uh, almost like huge wings of a pterodactyl flapping and I don't like pterodactyls and it's not pterodactyl hunting season either look at that check that out guys <laughs> good job Dirk all right I'm gonna do the uh, the deep end too just for giggles <clears throat> on the vet oh you know I had a really good time yesterday <coughs> excuse me I um uh, had a visit from Hank Hahn, my brother, my bra, my bra-in-law. He uh, stopped by and we chatted on my, ouch, chatted on my uh, projects. And he says, hey, let's go check out his buddy, Tom Newick. Tom Newick, he owns uh, um, Sunoco Gas Station, I guess it's called. Sunoco gas station and uh, some car, car lots in that area, him and his family. So we stopped over there, had a nice chat with him. First time I ever met the guy. Uh, so I hope to become more acquainted with him. He's got a lot of the same interests in the vehicle car industry as I do. Um, not industry so much as cars themselves, hot rods and stuff. So good source of knowledge and and awesome conversation met him and his wife is one of his daughters or his daughter and one of his sons Jay Jay and Heidi <clears throat> there's another Tom and one other son I don't know their names but his wife super lady so anyway had a really good time and we tend on doing some more of that so anyway this is more of my more of a um, pool maintenance video than anything else and it's way too long already it's 19 minutes long all right see you guys i'll uh this weather is really dampening my 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 mojo so anyway see ya bye